I'd like to share my story with you. It's not over yet. I'm still living it. So, I just need to let it all out. I need to share it. I started dating Alex about a year ago. We were both 16. It was our first serious relationship. We were in love. It was so romantic. We would see each other every day. Walk on the roofs, sing songs and play the guitar. Meet each other's parents. I was getting to know Alex better every day. We got so close. Our parents approved of us and found us cute together, but nothing is perfect. At some point, I realized that I just didn't have any feelings left for Alex. The worst part is, there was no good reason for that. We have never had a fight. He didn't do anything wrong. He loved me like no one else did. But there was nothing I could do about how I felt. It's like I've never even been in love with him. His habits started to annoy me, as well as the way he talked, the way he saw life. All in all, almost everything about him irritated me. I couldn't just say it, though. I'm too soft for that. My dissatisfaction had been accumulating daily. I was always in a bad mood. I tried to justify the changes in my behavior with studies and family issues. But Alex isn't a fool. He saw and understood everything. We talked, and I could finally let it go. I was so happy. It felt good being with him again. And then, having realized he could lose me, he went crazy. Alex became insane. He wanted to see me all the time. He called me nonstop and wanted to know who I was seeing and where. He didn't care about my plans, my friends, my hobbies. He loved me in some mad, unhealthy way. He was constantly jealous. I just couldn't live like that. The hyperprotection combined with control and selfishness killed the feelings I was starting to have for him again. I told Alex everything. I said I didn't see our future together. I didn't want one. And that we were probably going to break up soon. Then the worst came. He started crying, saying that I was the best thing that had ever happened to him. That he couldn't live without me. That he was afraid of being alone. Was it a manipulation? I don't know. But I was swept off my feet with emotion. I felt terribly guilty. I was sorry for him. I was scared. It all mixed together. I was at a dead end. I couldn't leave him. He would start drinking, get depressed, maybe worse. But I couldn't stand being with him. I was always suffering and ignoring what I needed and wanted. I was so attached to him, I couldn't make the final decision. I understood that no one else could put an end to our relationship, but I thought that my friends could help me. We all go to the same school. They know Alex. Girls said that our relationship hadn't been good for a while, that he behaved like a little boy, that I was his toy and had no respect for myself. Those words were supposed to help, but I felt like I was an awful person. My mom was only making it worse. She was always interfering with my personal life because she liked Alex. She tried to make me go see a psychologist. She said that Alex was a great guy, that I needed to date some macho for a change, who would cheat on me immediately to understand that I was a fool. Gosh, I hate myself. I see how much Alex loves me, but I don't feel the same way. We used to have plans together, and I'm ruining it. I'm ruining everything. How are we going to study at the same school once we break up? Maybe I'm just faking it? Maybe I'm consciously making myself suffer? Maybe I should just accept Alex the way he is. How can someone who loves me so much annoy me like this? It's all wrong. It's not normal. I'm confused. What should I do? I cannot bear this anymore.